In order to use a mounted sample, we just need your sample, the sample holder, and a small Allen key. The first thing to point out is that it is very important to know the orientation of the sample holder. You'll notice that there is a thicker section up top and a thinner section on the bottom. I can never remember which orientation is correct for top and bottom. You could either, once you figure it out, mark the top, or just grab some other sample holder, like my solid sample holder here, where I know the orientation. This is the top part. And look at that. This has a thicker section up top, thinner section on the bottom. That tells me that this is the upright position for my puck holder. Once you know the upright position, you want to flip it over. I will mention that I like to put down a Kim wipe first to protect the surface of my sample because I'm going to take my sample, flip it over, and place it into the sample holder. Take the key. Now you want to make sure that the sample and sample holder are flat against the table. I will typically hold down the sample holder with these two fingers and then hold down my sample with my middle finger. There are two spots here with screws. You only really need to tighten one, so I will tighten this one. I'll do my best to hold everything down flat. And there you go. That's your sample that you can now load into the diffractometer. Thank you for watching, and Benjamin and I hope you have a great day.